All right, welcome back. Um, so in the last video, what we did is we created our um, created our dynamic uh, tabs. Um, so what we're going to do is in uh, in this video. Sorry. <laughs> I um, spazzed out a little bit. Um, it, it's 11 o'clock at night. Um, so in this uh, video, um, like I said, in um, uh, each video is going to be a build up on the last one. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to copy all of this, um, all of the dynamic, and we are going to paste it into our closable. Uh, let us just rename this to Closable. Um, and we're going to go to our layout now. We are going to import closable. From closable. All right. Um, and over here. We're just going to pass it closable. All right. So dynamic. So as of right now, um, our dynamic is very similar to our closable, right? No difference. So let's change that. All right. So we're going to go to, we don't need our dynamic anymore. Um, we also don't need our layout. <clears throat> so um, let's do, let's do something different here. Instead of creating, uh, where are we? First tab, oh, right here. Let's space it out a little bit. Let's do the same thing for that one. Instead of creating new, we're going to say new closable. Let's do new tab. Why not? Um, new closable tab. All right. Give a little bit of identity here. OK. So now our closable is starting to look different, but we're gonna we're gonna do things just a little bit different here. Um, instead of one button, we're gonna we're gonna add our we're gonna give our closable a little bit of a personality, right? So what we're gonna do is we're actually uh, we're actually gonna make good use of our grid here. So uh, in the first one here. Um, for now, let's remove that. Just control, uh, control X. Uh, if you are on a Mac, it's command X. We're going to open a grid container. Uh, we're going to give it a spacing of two. Now we're going to do grid item. Um, let's say, oh, hell. Let's say X. Let's say if it's on a small screen, we're gonna do it. Uh, gonna do full width. If it's on a medium or higher, we're gonna say half width. Um, whoops. What is that? We're gonna do six. All right. Now we're pasting our button. So. We're going to do create red box. Um, actually, actually, let's do create blue box. And we're going to copy and paste this. Um, actually, we're not going to, we're going to essentially going to copy and paste, but we're going to do a little bit of trick here. It's going to be shift alt. Press and hold shift, alt, and then the down arrow. 
Uh, it's a quick copy and paste. Uh, and over here, we're going to do red box. And we're going to give this a color, color secondary. Um, with with uh, material UI red, um, secondary is red by default. Oh, that's more of a purple. When they, uh, it used to be red, a um, little bit of a side note here, used to be red, um, but when they, when they went from version four to version five, they switch secondary to this purple ish mauve, whatever it is, it's not red. Um, but if you, if you ever interested, uh, in, in, uh, in the colors, primary, secondary, uh, material UI, um, or MUI now is what it's called. It's been renamed. Um, you can actually, through theming, you can change the colors if you want to. Um, but this is beyond the scope of this video. Um, what am I doing? Oh, let's get rid of this. All right. Uh, so we're going to do create. red box and we're going to do create blue box I'm getting an error because these methods have not been defined so with this one let's do create blue box um let's for now uh, let's say blue box this um, oh okay so what we're doing here uh, instead of instead of a, a div with a hello I am dynamic tab whatever uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a box using good old um, styling um, this is going we're going to do a self-closing div and uh, we're going to do in style styling we're going to do style we're going to give it a height of uh, 300 pixel and a width of 300 pixels and we're going to give it a background color of we are in blue let's call it blue okay so essentially what we're doing uh, instead of blue tab let's do blue box i think that's what i named it box whoops box uh yeah blue box and so we're going to do a little trick here again. We're going to select, actually, let's select from here. We are selecting. And then we're going to hold Shift, Alt, and down arrow. And we are simply going to rename, uh, create red box. And so what I'm going to do, I don't like having the same code repeated. Um, the same sets of code here is repeated on two different methods. So in good practice, we are going to create a method. So that way we can, if we ever decide to change these, we're gonna change this once and it applies everywhere so we're going to do handle uh, tab options simple and we're just going to cut that and we're going to do handle tab options we're going to call that here 
we're also going to call it on the create red box handle tab options and then we're going to paste what's actually happening pretty simple okay now let's see what it do create blue box aha blue box blue box blue box blue box blue box see what's going on here I'm clicking on the create red box but it's it's creating a blue box for me what is going on the reason why this is happening is in the red box the label here is saying blue because I still have it as blue here so let us fix one issue at a time and see how that goes so create blue box it creates one as expected create a red box I am still getting a blue box but the tab label has been fixed so now let's change the color for the red box we're going to the create red box function and in our styling the background color we're going to change that from blue to red uh, let's reload red box blue box red box all right so why did we do all that we wanted to to uh, have a little bit of a uh, personality difference between dynamic and closable right uh, boring old hello see the difference now that we've created a little bit of personality in this one um, uh, we're gonna stop it here um, our last video was about 25 ish 26 minutes long um, I don't really like my videos to be that long so I'm gonna cut this one really short and um, we're gonna pick it up from here um, we're gonna start moving on how to make this work what we really want to do um, so yeah we are gonna stop this here um, uh, the link below uh, there should be in somewhere in this video there should be a thumbnail for the next one um, so yeah thank you for your time thank you for watching hope you learned something um, I'll see you in the next video